Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, back again with another tutorial video. Now today what I want to talk about is how to conveniently travel with a DSLR video rig and all the equipment that one might have to go with it. Got a few things here and I'll just quickly go through. I've got the stock uh, Canon EOS T3i lens, 8, 18 to 55 millimeter EFS with a hood that I've added. I've got the 75 to 300 millimeter telephoto lens, EF lens, for the T3i with the hood I've added on it. Then I've got the uh, Canon T3i with a high quality Rokinon 35 millimeter cinema lens. And I've got the Rode video mic. Then I've got some var various other accessories, some filters, lens hood, remote control, hex key to adjust uh, my Mantis shoulder mount, some extra batteries in case the road video mic died, extra covers for the front and rear of the lens in case I lose some, uh, microfiber cloths, a uh, nice little bag to put the uh, to put the Rokinon lens in when it's not in use, some extra little spongy things for the road video mic, and I'll have an assortment of SD cards. I don't have an SD card in this case, but I will have quite a few SD cards. So the easiest way to do this, and you can find the link within this video's description, you may have seen the unboxing video already, but this is, it's made by Amazon Basics, which is a really good brand, really good budget conscious brand. So you can see the Amazon Basics logo right there. This is a DSLR backpack, so it's designed to custom fit your DSLR camera and the various accessories. So this will be the first time I've used this for my, for my gear. This zippered compartment right here that's in the top, this will make a great storage spot for my, actually my microfiber cloths, I'm just gonna slide them down in, uh, in that part right there. But this will make a great storage spot for my batteries, my SD cards, my, um, let's see, I got those two nine volts right there, yeah. Extra spongy things for the Rode video mic. My remote control for the Canon EOS. My hex key for adjusting the Mantis. Makes a great, great spot to put all of that. Best part is by it being a zippered area, when you open your pack to retrieve other items, those items shouldn't fall out. See, so if I need to get something from here, maybe some, maybe an ink pen or something like that, I can reach in. Got my little uh, dual SD card reader, which is a must, full size and also mini SD card reader. We put, uh, Put an ink pen in there too, because it's good to have good to have a pen when you're on the road. Grab me a pen here. If I can find a pen. Yep. So I got me an ink pen. So put me an ink pen up here, just in case it's needed. Obviously a massive snack, uh, snack, massive stack of Irish Guys Adventures Channel's business cards. Never know who you might meet on the road. And then also on the obverse, Snag Bear. For my Snag Bear website, gonna load up on those business cards here. Put them in this little covered area so they don't pop out when I, when I reach into that. And then also I've got my Irish Guys Adventure Channel stickers because there's people out there on the road that when I meet them, they may want an oval sticker from Irish Guys Adventure Channel. I'm gonna put those down in there. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put them in here. Just leave that back that baggie exposed. So I got my marketing swag and my stickers for the fans. 
that's about everything I need in this compartment for now, but I've got plenty of room left if I, should I need to add something later. Now what I'm gonna do is go into the main compartment. This is where it's gonna get fun. So this is the main compartment. Uh, obviously what I will want to do is take the Rode video mic off. Easy enough, you just unscrew that, slide backwards, pop out the uh, cable and you're done. Take the Rode video mic off. I'm gonna keep my big lens on here, so I'm gonna form fit this around the, uh, the EOS T3i with the Rokinon, or Rokinon, however you pronounce it. And see, I can put that down to firmly fit around there. The neck strap for the EOS camera, I can just very, uh, very easily put it, uh, well, you know what I'll do, make it even better. I'll just rest it on top and then do that. This is all Velcro, so everything's Velcroing together here. Now, of course, your lens selection and my lens selection will probably differ. Uh, something that I would recommend, since this will be the bottom part of the pack facing me, probably put my lenses in the, uh, the other part. So that right there is is a perfect fit for my telephoto lens. If I wanted to move that around some more, I could. Uh, then I've got my my small lens right here, my 18 to 55 millimeter EFS, the one that came with the with the Canon T3i. So I've got that there. My lens hood. You know what? I'm going to put it down towards the. Uh, towards the bottom, it's, it's not really sensitive to, uh, uh, to being dropped or anything. Now, my Rode video mic, I wanna pay close attention to where I position it. What I'm gonna do with it is put it right there. And then just as an added layer of protection, what I'm gonna do is, well, let's see, how do I wanna do this? You know, I probably don't even need that. I'm just gonna put it, I see it's kinda of tall. Here's what I'll do, I'll put this piece, aha, here we go. And put this piece back in front of the, of the Rokinon. And then I think I'm gonna put this right here. Yeah, there we go. That's more of a, well, I don't know if I want that microphone touching the top, so I'm gonna put it, Put it here so it has a little bit of room. If it wants to slide around a little bit, it can. And then I can even put this on top of that for transport so that it won't fall backwards. That leaves me with a neutral density filter and then also a case for my, for my UV filter. I will not be taking my UV filter off so I can leave that one at home but I may use my neutral density filter. So I'm gonna pack that along with this. It can just go in there. Likewise, if I wanted to save space and put it down here, I could do that. I've got my stuff sack for my Rokinon when it's not in use. I can put that in there just to function as some extra padding. Plenty of room left over if I, if I need to take some other items which I probably will. There's one thing that comes to mind immediately and that's a, uh, that's a battery charger. I've got it in the wall right now but there's plenty of room for it in here. The GoPro camera. I always travel with GoPro and that's something that I need to, I need to work into this. So we're gonna, so this, this is the bare minimum. If you're just a DSLR camera user, you may not even have this much equipment. So if you're just a DSLR camera user, you know, that's gonna get you going and you got plenty of room left over. What I like about this case is that this part right here is for my laptop. So I travel with a MacBook Air. It'll go in there completely separate from, uh, from my camera gear. Very well padded. Could, couldn't be happier with this. But now, 
we're going to go to the next level. So this is going to be if you're IRIX guy. If you're an IRIX guy and you have tons of gear that you carry in addition to your DSLR gear. Whoops. So this part you can ignore if you don't plan to carry the extra gear, but you can watch if you want to travel like IRX guy. So what I have here is a foldable solar panel. This has a USB cable that's built in here. And you can connect it to a, a myriad of USB devices. And that's important because when you're on the go, you may not be near a car or you may not be near a power jack, so you may not be able to recharge your electronic devices. So with that being said, I have a solution that I'm pulling out of my bag right now that we're going to throw in with this. So we're going to create a, a renewable energy solution for on the go. So what I'm going to put in here, I'm going to surprise you, that's why I'm, why I'm getting it right now. One other thing I do need, that's a network adapter for my MacBook Air, so that'll go in the in the laptop side of the backpack in case I don't have uh, in case I don't have wireless. And I'm gonna take uh, always good to have a network cable, just a short cat five cable just in case. A must to have your extra DJI Phantom accessories in case you uh, in case you need to take off a prop or you lose one of those spongy things. I'm gonna put that in my zippered part because that that's something that would be easy to leave behind, and it's something that I wouldn't carry. Well, that I'll, I'll obviously when I've got the Phantom with me, I'm gonna have my DSLR with me, so that's why I'm putting that in there. Always good to have just a small amount of cash. So I'll take a $20 bill just in case uh, I get into a, into a situation and need $20. I'll put that down in there. Let's see, I'm bringing some more stuff out. This right here, I'm gonna reduce the size. This has a bunch of memory cards in it. I'm just gonna do those separately in here. Okay, this is my GoPro kit. So I've got the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black and a lot of stuff in here. So I'm gonna break this down to what we need. This right here is essential. This is a battery bank. And what this will enable you to do is, is charge devices while you're in the field by way of uh, either of those two USB ports. I think it probably needs to be charged now. I'm not seeing anything pop up on the side. But I can recharge this by way of this USB cable and the solar panel that I was showing you a moment ago. So that's a must to take with you. And the good thing about it, both it and the solar panel, you can slide your solar panel right there. You can slide your battery bank right there. And then obviously the cable that you use to charge your battery bank to connect it to the solar panel and stick it down in there too. So there's your renewable energy portion of the backpack. That brings me to, I'm gonna slide this over here. That brings me to the GoPro piece. Now how am I going to, what and how am I gonna pack this most efficiently? The obvious thing I could do is leave this in this pack because I've got various filters for the GoPro and I've got uh, sync cables and and the various mounts, tripod mount, etc. So you know what I'm going to do with that? I'm just going to zip this back up. 
Now I'm gonna see if this is too big to fit in with the, uh, with the other stuff. I'm just gonna put it on top right there. That's kind of pushing it. So we've got another option what we can do. We can keep this compartment reserved for, uh, for these items. Then we can go back to our main DSLR compartment. And we can kind of kit this out here because ultimately what we're gonna want, we're gonna want the GoPro. And there's a USB charger right here that I have for the GoPro. So we're gonna want that. We're gonna want extra batteries. In case we're not charging off of uh, off of the um, solar panel, we're gonna want a wall charger. So we've got that right here. And then there's various mounts for the GoPro and extra screws and GoPro itself. So let's just start with the basics. Let's start with the GoPro a tripod mount, this locking type mount right here. There's a little car charger right there which could come in handy for near a car and then a wall charger for uh, actually this is duplicate this will serve, say, serve the same purpose so I don't need to take this one that's just redundancy. I do want to take some extra GoPro thumb screws. You never know when you may need an extra. I do need... I've already got the car charger, so I don't need that. This is duplicate. I've got some lens filters in here that I'll take. I've already got uh, I've already got the microfiber cleaning cloth, so I don't need those. This right here is a must. This is the type connection that you use for. Uh, for connecting to the DJI Phantom. And then a frame type mount, which comes in handy. So it may look like a lot of stuff, but in reality, what we can do here is put the, um, the GoPro can just, I mean, it can fit right there in the top part. I don't want a lot of stuff in here that's gonna roll around and potentially make contact with the camera stuff. So I may just leave that to the uh, to the GoPro and let's see. Might put that battery, that wall charger in there, and then the car charger, and then this USB charger right there, and then that kind of makes everything compact. The extra GoPro batteries, with well, the frame mount I can put in here, GoPro frame mount. These little smaller mounts and screws for GoPro, I should put in the in the zipper compartment, just so it'll be it'll lessen the likelihood that they become lost. So I can just put these in here. One, two, and then these batteries also, I can put them in the uh, in the compartment right there. These cables I can put in, well, I can just tuck them back here. They're not gonna fall out. And then likewise with these laptop devices, what I'll do with them, just to keep everything to where I know where it is, I'll put them in with where I put the laptop. And I'm using a MacBook here, 13 inch. 
but you should be able to uh, to fit a variety of laptops in here. And also, this right here is the rain fly. Should it start raining, so it's forward in where the where the laptop is. So that's a lot of gear for a very uh, excuse me for a very small package. Now, something I would. Something I would recommend, especially before you take your your DSLR and your GoPro and your laptop and other accessories out somewhere, I would go for a few trial runs. You know, go out and go through all the steps that that you would perform while you're out in the field, and make sure that there's not a uh, an item that that you need during that process. So go out and film and download and and change your lenses and and do everything you would do if you were filming outside of your home area and see what's missing. See already I discovered I'd forgotten my GoPro chest mount. And not only did I forget that, but I forgot my, this right here, this is a waterproof camera. The Nikon uh, Coolpix AW110. So I was about to go off without it. Not only was I going to forget it, but I was going to forget the charger for it as well. And in addition to that, I was going to forget my GoPro head strap mount. So it's easy to, it's easy to rush out the door and forget stuff. So do that trial run, make sure you've got everything before you, uh, you know, make sure you got everything before you're actually at that filming location. And all of this stuff wouldn't necessarily have to fit in this pack, but I just wanted to illustrate how how much room you have. Because I've got, I mean, ultimately I'm going to be taking Go Clamp by Go Mount, be taking flexible. And again, all of this is where it goes beyond the DSLR. Taking these flexible Go Flexes for the GoPro, so I can attach to a suction cup mount, etc., and uh, customize that uh, that camera angle. I can put them on this, and and then mount that on the top of a motorcycle helmet or whatever. So yeah, there's plenty of room in this case. And that's what I wanted to demonstrate with this video. So if you're on the fence about which DSLR case to buy, and likewise if you're if you're someone like me where you won't just be using a DSLR, but you'll need you'll need to have your laptop with you, and you'll need to have a GoPro camera and GoPro accessories. This is a great way to just throw it all on your back and have it conveniently organized. So much better. As you can see here with these with these different uh, storage areas, so much better than having everything just thrown in a backpack, banging into all the other things that are thrown into that backpack. And that that's why just looking at this from a uh, photograph or a video, it's hard for one to really appreciate the 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 necessity here. I mean, this is something. This is an essential item. For anyone that cares about their gear and wants to ensure that they have all of their camera gear needed when they're in the field, this is this is a way to do that. And it's a way to do that very affordably. So check the link within this video's description. You can find the link to order this online, as well as more photos and information. And be sure to subscribe, youtube.com forward slash Thanks for watching and y'all have a good day.